Okay, on the groundwork, I believe that this is a really good tool to work on the fundamentals of your roping. Uh, talking about swing angles, on this pipes dummy, you'll notice that it's built downhill. And the reason for that is, is, your rope. It was, is the very end of your rope. You've got your top strand, your bottom strand, and your tip. Using the same. These little minute movements like this can change the way that your loop hits the ground. I want my sights pointed right at my target. My focus is on the feet. And watch how much tip I'll still get through here without any force. You'll see as the steer is being turned right here, you can clearly see the feet. My tip's pointed where I want. I've got my horse going the same speed as the steer. He's not turned. Work. I'm looking down at the feet. And when I say feet, we're talking about rope and feet, but I'm not actually looking at the feet of the steer. I look right between the hops in this area right here. Right between the hops. It helps me set my loop down and look at where my horse stops good right there. You can see the marks from my horse sliding. All that was set up by this move back here with the way that that angle is. Look at the head horse tracks, the steer tracks, and with my left hand. You can see how much higher my left hand is. I'm keeping my horse's nose tipped to the inside and Chet's arms a little Tip lower. The rope is crossing down to the right, a little bit too much of a right angle right there instead of right over the middle of the steer's back. See where my tip's crossing there? Watch my loop when it crosses the steer's back. That right there is strand. My, my bottom strand is up, top strand is down, and as I rope, and I want you to notice the difference in our swings. Look at where my tip is. It's crossing over the steer's back, but it's pointed down at my target. I'm gonna flip that rope over, and I'm gonna have top strand up, bottom strand down, and just be deliberate to set that loop on the ground and let my header pull the steer. One of the things that I've learned over a 15 year rodeo career is how much mental toughness that it takes to make a career out of rodeo. So um, I get asked that question a lot. How do you overcome the situations to where things aren't going the way you want them to or when you're on a losing streak or uh, your good horse gets hurt or I mean there's a million different scenarios that it seems like I've been through in my career and if I could go back you know 15 years ago and tell myself uh, one thing about rodeoing it would be that the, the shorter memory I would have that I could have and the stronger men mental game that I could have the more I could win.